Hey guys, what's going on? So this is my first episode of Dark Room Combos. Tonight, we're gonna talk about the iPhone 11 Pro. It's supposed to be the newest hot shit that has just dropped today. Everybody's talking about it. We're gonna watch this video from Apple to see what's going on. I'm not the most technical dude at all. At all. Te my technology skills are like down here. All right, but I do have the iPhone triple X SL Max, whatever the hell that is, and I love it. And I don't know, we're gonna see why this is gonna be so dope. All right, I'm gonna push play. Introducing iPhone 11 Pro. Every detail has been used as an opportunity to set new standards in design, quality, and engineering, ensuring it will deliver uncompromising performance in any situation. At the core of the iPhone 11 Pro design is a stainless steel structural band and a three-dimensional glass back made from the toughest glass in the smartphone. It's sculpted from a single solid sheet, reinforced down to the atomic level, and then brought to life in one of four textured matte. Oh, so they dipping this shit in water. If you could get under water with the whole iPhone and the shit be straight, like go swimming with it, that would be dope. That would be dope. Finishes. The enclosure is designed to withstand what life can throw at it. Rigorous testing and refining to help create a durable, dust, and water resistant iPhone. The Apple designed A13 Bionic chip is the most ambitious to date. It's the fastest chip ever in a smartphone, yet more efficient than ever. And with new optimized batteries that give you up to five extra hours in your day, you get more pro performance in an iPhone for longer than ever. The triple camera system combines cutting edge technology with the extraordinary ease of iPhone. The redesigned the camera interface complements the new hardware with a more so we're taking like extra pictures now. Telephoto, wide, and new ultra wide cameras. Huh. You can now view four times more scene in your photos and videos with the ultra wide. All new night mode allows you to capture images never before possible on an iPhone in drastically lower light. The highest quality video in a smartphone is now even better. With extended dynamic range now at 4K and 60 FPS, you can record pro quality video at twice as many frames per second. Editing tools previously reserved for photos now make editing your videos a pro level experience. Perfect and then play back your footage on the new Super Retina XDR display that has the highest pixel density of any Apple device. Privacy is built into every iPhone from the ground up. From iOS 13 to Face ID, the most secure facial authentication in a smartphone, which now works from greater angles and is even faster. This new line of iPhone has been pushed to extreme. Now it would have been real dope. Okay, so they got like a, like a, a decently melanated, you know, girl on there doing the, uh, doing the, the, uh, what is it, the, um, the face, the facial recognition. Now, if you would have had somebody dark, I'm talking about like, like Michael Blackson dark doing it and it, and it did the shits, then I'd be impressed because your boy being in, in the dark with, with the same shits on and struggling, trying to, you know what I mean? I had to turn my brightness up just so it can get the rest. It's cause you know, your boy's chocolate. All right, so besides the fact of the iPhone, the new iPhone being super dope with the camera, right? So it's already, it's always had a dope camera. It's always had, you know, all the extra shit, but now it's like even better. Now it's like super water resistant, supposedly. Um, they did a little drop thing. It looked like it won't break. But they dropped it on the bottom of the shits. Like, 
What I want to see you do is drop that bitch on his face. Drop that bad boy from Crackable Heights. And then let's see if that bad boy is still good. Because we all know it take that one. If you hit it on the angle of the of the phone or on the face, that's it. You can, If you don't got the insurance, you're over. That's like a whole $800 that you got to pay just to get your shit fixed. The the camera that's you that's you that's the whole reason I I buy an iPhone the whole reason I got the triple X Max XRS whatever the hell I got right now is because the camera was dope and I was like all right let's do it so that's that got me off top I was like all right okay we'll see what's up of course the fake facial recognition if it's better than it was before you know what I mean you know let your let your boy with the chocolate face get that recognition without having that issue what I want to know from everybody else is what else is better, you know? Or if you feel like another phone is either just as good as the iPhone 11 Pro or better. Because I know some people be talking about the Google phone or the, the, the chirp alert. I don't know. They be talking about all kind of other stuff that's better. And that stuff that, you know, most people in America at least don't really know much about. I'm probably going to get one later. We know how it is when a new phone comes out Everybody gets it and then they have to bring it back because it's got all kind of glitches and stuff. Usually it takes about a whole year before all the glitches and stuff and all the, the updates are done and everything's like real efficient with it. Then I'll probably look into it. But these holes is expensive. This last iPhone was 1200 and some change to buy. 1200 and some change. I can only imagine how much this one's going to be. At least 14 At least. They just bumping it up and they know everybody's gonna get it. But what is what is dope? And I don't know if they're just hyping it up or it's real, but camera wise, they're pretty much saying that you can create an entire Netflix movie on your phone. Like you don't need a whole bunch of different people doing everything, all the edits and stuff. You can do all that by yourself. I can create an entire series or an entire movie from my phone. Now, if that's for real, then that'll get your boy real quick because I would love to be able to save some money by spending spending now what I can save throughout the time of having to pay somebody else to do that. That's what will convince me to buy the phone. If I know that, okay, if I spend this 1400 or however much it is now, I'll probably be able to save that same amount and more throughout the time of the use of the phone because of how good the camera is. So the camera is what's got me. The drop, I'm not really feeling that. You dropped it on the thing, you didn't drop it on the corner, you didn't drop it on the face, so I don't really know if it's gonna crack, all right? Like they usually do. And I don't know about this whole water resistant thing. You know, they are, they spraying it, they spritzing it, but they didn't show the iPhone on, all right? My thing is this, if you really wanna convince somebody that a phone is water resistant, Take the phone. They did do something in the rain or something like that. I don't know if they had it on. I can't remember. But take the phone. Take somebody with the phone that's text messaging. Have them dive into the pool. Swim to the other side of the pool and get out and continue to text. If somebody can do that with the iPhone, you got me on that. This is the first dark room convo about the iPhone 11 Pro. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if your iPhone or your Android, you know, I know a lot of you guys are Samsung gang, you know, for life. I know a lot of you guys are iPhone and y'all, but y'all gonna buy it just because it's an iPhone. I know a lot of you guys are Apple Dub. I'm not gonna lie, I'm Apple Dub now. I used to not be Apple Dub, all right? I got the, I got the MacBook Air. I bought my wife the MacBook Pro. We both got the same iPhones. I'm probably gonna get some kind of, smart TV that's gonna link with my with my phone and all kinds of shit and buy my, my daughter a, 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 I don't know, an iPod pack, whatever the fuck. Whatever it is, I'm gonna get it because it kinda, you know, they link. Once you get one, you gotta get the other ones to link unless you're gonna switch everything to the other side. And no company is trying to pay for you to do that. So I'm stuck with the iPhone, but I'm not complaining because I can do anything and everything I can business-wise with the phone that I got. Comment below, let me know. Let me know if this is gonna be a dope ass phone or is it just gonna be the same iPhone XXX Max that we got right now. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe. Let me know if there's something you guys want me to talk about for the next dark room combos. 
And I don't know, if this is dope and this is something that we can keep doing, then I'll keep doing darkroom combos. Highlight your boy.com.